Have you heard the line from the musical Hamilton, where Alexander Hamilton tells his men to take the bullets out their guns? It might seem like an outrageous order for a military commander, but Alexander Hamilton really did tell his soldiers to attack a British position with unloaded muskets. Instead of bullets, they would rely on a simple but deadly weapon, the bayonet. The first bayonets were knives attached to the end of gun barrels, allowing soldiers to fight at close quarters against cavalry. But a bayonet also prevented the gun from being fired. By the outbreak of the Revolutionary War, however, socket bayonets, which slipped around the barrel of the gun, were standard issue for European armies, and the problem was solved. In the 18th century, the British Army had a reputation as one of the best in the world, built in part on their disciplined use of muskets with fixed bayonets. But perhaps equally significant was the reputation of the bayonet itself. The 17-inch blade was triangular, making any wound difficult to heal. The sight of the armed redcoats advancing was often enough to send soldiers into panicked retreats. Its reputation was only enhanced when General Charles No Flint Gray led a raid on the Continental Army camp near present-day Malvern, Pennsylvania. He earned his nickname by ordering the soldiers to remove the flints from their muskets before attack. Stories soon circulated about revolutionary soldiers being cruelly bayoneted by the British while trying to surrender. To overcome their inexperience and fear of the bayonet charge, Washington enlisted the help of German officer Baron von Steuben, who introduced bayonet drills. At the same time, issues of short supply were addressed, ensuring there were enough to go around. Before long, Revolutionary War General Anthony Wayne, who had been at Malvern, got his revenge. In 1779, he led 1,200 men in a bayonet charge on the British fort at Stony Point in New York. The tactic was a success, and the post was captured. From that moment on, the bayonet became a critical weapon in the Revolutionary War on both sides, helping to secure victory for the Continental Army when Alexander Hamilton and his soldiers captured the British fortification Redoubt 10 at Yorktown, relying solely on the bayonet. Their use was critical to the intimidation of the enemy, and the Continental Army was able to turn this to its advantage and ended the war as equals to the British in the brutal art of bayonet warfare.